Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today from garden to grill, or actually garden to oven, I'm going to show you how to make a garlic panko jalapeno crisp. I have a lot of jalapenos. I love garlic. The garlic's coming out of the garden. And I'm going to just show you a great recipe that really will use up all your excess jalapenos. This is an original recipe and I'm going to show you how to take your jalapenos and basically make a, a jalapeno crisp with panko breadcrumbs, garlic from the garden, and two cheeses. I use Parmesan and mozzarella. The first thing you want to do is just prepare your jalapenos. I already prepared a bunch, but this is how I do it. You definitely want to wear gloves if you don't like the heat. I did uh, actually get some of this in my eye earlier and it does burn. But you're going to just remove the seeds and the pith and kind of core out your jalapeno. And this is how you want to prepare them. Once you do that, the trick is that you can put them into water, rinse them, and what it does is you'll see all the extra seeds will float off of them. And then just drain that out. As best you can. Let's just get rid of the seeds. The seeds and the pith have a little bit more heat in them. And they can be a little bit moist. Now everybody's going to have a different size Pyrex pan. And just measure in the panko this way. You want it to be about that thick. This is going to go on top of them. So just measure it out. You want to use the pankos. They don't have a lot of flavor. They're very, very crisp though. And once you measure it, put it into a bowl. Add in about a cup of Parmesan cheese. You could do more, you could do less. Another cup of mozzarella cheese. And you're going to squeeze in three or four cloves of garlic. If you don't like garlic, you can certainly skip it. And just scrape it in. That's one. Two. And three. I think I'm going to go with four, actually. and four cloves of garlic. That's all that's going in there. The panko uh, breadcrumbs don't have a lot of seasoning, so you could add salt or pepper in there if you'd like. Once you have the garlic in, you really want to mix it up. You don't want the garlic to be uh, clumped in one area. So the best way to do it is just really crush and roll the breadcrumbs through your fingers. That'll grind up some of the cheese, but that's really going to mix everything for you. And let me just take a second to really mix that up. And this is going to make a really nice crispy topping on your jalapeno crisps. The oven was set to 375, and this will cook in there for 20 to 30 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. In about 20 or 30 minutes, it'll be uh, really cooked, and then you're going to just broil it to crisp the top up. And that would be maybe three to five minutes. All right, that's pretty good. There's the oven saying it's ready, 375. So, the jalapenos, again, I really recommend you use a glove. I don't mind it so much. Uh, on my hands, but you definitely don't want to touch your eyes or your face. So you want enough jalapenos to cover your Pyrex plate, and that's why people will have different sizes. It just depends on how many jalapenos you have ready. You're going to cover them with some olive oil. And actually, go ahead and use your hand. These will soften up and taste delicious. The breadcrumbs are going to absorb the flavor from the jalapeno. And just cover up your jalapenos. And again, this is one cup of Parmesan cheese, one cup of mozzarella. And you could add in some other cheeses, but I want to do too many. You want to 
you know, use cheese you like and two or three kinds of cheese lets you taste the different flavors without kind of really mixing too many flavors together. So this is going to go in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes and I'll show you the next step shortly. So in about 30 minutes your jalapeno and breadcrumbs is going to look like this. Some ovens may cook hotter so you may want to do this at 350 for 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. The key really is to have the top look like this. It's starting to crisp up and you want the jalapenos to start really getting soft. So set it, you know, as you need for your oven. After you've taken it out in about 30 minutes, you're just going to work some of the breadcrumbs down into the jalapenos. Just like that. And what that does is it brings some crispiness and cheese down into the jalapenos themselves. And you're going to put one more cup combined. So it's a half a cup of Parmesan, half a cup of mozzarella right on top. And you're just going to broil it three to five minutes. And you want to put this in the center of the rack. You don't want it too high close to the broiler because it'll burn. And you have to keep an eye on it because every oven's going to be different. So don't hold me to the three to five minutes. But set it on broil. You want this to brown up and crisp up. And in about in three, about to five three minutes, minutes, your jalapenos are ready to come out. You can see the top is nice and crisp. The jalapenos are cooked through. I don't really have a name for this, but it's a mozzarella, parmesan, garlic, panko, jalapeno crisp. It smells delicious. It really will use up all the extra jalapenos in your garden and other peppers too. And it's really, really easy to make. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therestedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.